What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Yo Sneeze, back with another video, man. Uh, I've been going for two, three days. I've been taking a little break because I've been going crazy uploading videos, just getting everything back in order, you know what I'm saying? You know, Hurricane Helene fucked a lot of shit up, so, you know what I'm saying? I was getting the house straight back up, cleaning the refrigerator out, you know what I'm saying? We just get back to normalcy. But I've been reading my comments while I've been, like, taking my little break, you know what I'm saying? I respond, I respond back to every comment. I read every comment. So if you think I ain't going to see these comments, I read every comment. So y'all keep commenting, and it's a lot of y'all haters out here, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be talking the most trash. I can't even see what y'all look like. And y'all be talking so crazy about me. Talking about some, you're fat, you ain't got a haircut, you look broke. And y'all be saying the most crazy stuff without a profile pic. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of the people that's going to report your channel, or report your comment. Because I like all the smoke. Like that, the shit y'all saying don't hurt my feelings. So keep it coming, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't get in it look good for nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just up here just to get motivation. And just yap about certain subjects I like yapping about. So... First question of the day is, oh, so the, the title of the video is me responding to Dora, to, to, to Dora's comments from my videos. So the first comment I seen when I woke up this morning was, can I afford to not work for a couple months? And to answer your question, yes, I can. I don't know what type of person y'all think I am. I'm irresponsible with my money, but I'm not. I save my money. You know what I'm saying? I've been taught, my parents taught me, you always put money to the side for rainy days. A lot of y'all motherfuckers don't do that. Matter of fact, let's get straight. Let's get into meat and potatoes. A lot of you motherfuckers talking crazy to me in the comments. Don't even got a thousand dollars to your name. Y'all grown ass people. Grown. Y'all growner than me. We all grown. I'm twenty. I'm about to be twenty five. I'm grown. Okay, I'm grown. What do? But you motherfuckers is 40, 50, 35 plus talking crazy. Y'all talking crazy as fuck to me. Motherfucker. Matter of fact, one nigga talking crazy to me. This motherfucker's a dancer. Nah, nah, nah. You got a job. You got a job. I'm not doubting nobody's job. But don't come talking and crazy to me because I don't have my life figured out. You clearly say you're 40 plus and you work at a high school janitor. You a high school janitor. I'm glad you work. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. I'm not down. I, hey, as long as you got a job, you cool with me and my books. You got a job, you making money, you cool with me. But don't come in my, don't come in my comment section saying um, you're failing in life already. Like, bro, I'm 25. You're 45. I'm 25. You see what I'm saying? Like, I still got time to figure my life out. And also, I can go, you know what I'm saying? I can go a couple months without working because I got money saved up. I don't need things to get money. But to answer your question, will I go Will I go a couple months without working? Fuck no. Because I'm always going to keep me a job. I'm always going to find ways to get money. You know what I'm saying? I got shoes in my closet I can sell. I can make your check in a day. <laughs> I'm not even being cocky. I got that many shoes. I got shoes I can sell and make some of y'all motherfucking rent in a day or the week. You know what I'm saying? I still got DoorDash. I still got Uber Eats. You know what I'm saying? On a bad, on a bad week, I'll make five hundred. I make it. I can make five hundred a week. On a good, on a good week, nine hundred. You do the math. Nine hundred times four. How much is it? Thirty six hundred a month. Um. Also, I live with my mama. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, you like, why you live with your mama still? You're 25. You're already 25. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So y'all, to those, so those who going to ask that question, eat a dick. You know what I'm saying? It's just me and my mama. My dad passed away a couple years, so I still have my mama because she still need me. She need things. She need things around the house that need to be done, and I do the things. She need help with computers. She need help with business. I do those things. I, I went to school for business, so I know how to get shit done. So... Stop fucking hating on me because your life is shit. That's what I was saying in my video. What's the next question? When am I going to get a haircut? When you going to get some money? When you going to get some bitches? Why y'all grown men on my page asking when I'm going to get shit done? You ask another grown man when you going to get a haircut. Is you going to pay for my haircut? No. Shut the fuck up. Hey, damn, bro. Like, my job description... I just deliver food. Why do I need a haircut for? Why do I need to look good all the time, bro? I'm in grind mode. Y'all don't understand what grind mode is? I'm literally grinding. I'm waking up straight to work. Take my shower, brush my teeth, and get in the car and go to work. I'm not trying to look good for nobody. Nobody's trying to do that. 
I ain't bought clothes and shoes in forever, bro. I'm wearing the same clothes over and over and over and over. I wash them and I put them back on the same the next week, and I just keep rotating and just keep going, bro. Like, right, bro, when I get what I want to in life, then I, you know what I'm saying? I get haircut regularly. I make sure I look good regularly. But right now I'm in grind mode. I'm young still. I'm getting to the paper. What's another? What's another question I get tired of seeing all the time? Oh, somebody say. I'm not, an independent, I'm not an independent contractor. Do y'all know what independent means, bro? That means you work for yourself. You can get up. Yes, okay, I get it. I'm working for DoorDash or Uber Eats or Instacart. I get it. Yes. But you, we literally, like, y'all not understand. We literally can wake up and make money when we want to. You know what I'm saying? It's really no cap house money. You, if you want to go work for 20, if you want to go work every all day, you can't. On Uber Eats, you can't work all day. You know what I'm saying? Because you only got 12 hours of work. But if you really want to, if you really want to work all day, you could because you can use Uber Eats for twelve hours, and then you can use DoorDash for the rest of the hours you work. You can work, you can work twenty four hours you want to. So it's really no cap. So I'm really trying to figure out what you're talking about. Then somebody says you're not making money because you gotta you gotta like include the maintenance on your car. Like I said in my last video, don't you gotta put maintenance in your car just to just to go to work, like? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I understand what you're trying to say, bro. Like, I know everybody don't look close by your job. So if your job, let's just say your job 50 minutes away. You got to drive 50 minutes there and 50 minutes back. You work seven days a week, right? What just say you work seven days a week. That's 50 minutes there and back every fucking day. So you do the math on your car, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't hit my brakes hard. I'm not a, I'm not a heavy driver. Like, my foot not heavy on the brakes, so... Y'all keep talking about my brakes. I know I'm not a heavy driver on my brakes. Uh, my gas, that shit take twenty dollars to full tank. Most of you motherfuckers drive trucks, so fifty minutes home. I mean, fifty minutes till drive, fifty minutes back. You're getting gas every day. So what's really the point? You know what I'm saying? What do you say you got a truck? What do you say your truck put six dollars in six dollars six dollars in your tank to fill that to fill that shit up? That's just on low end for a truck. What do you say you put sixty dollars in your tank, right? If you got a truck, you're not getting that much gas. So let's be real. Sixty dollars there and back, you get gas up every day. So let's do what just say sixty sixty times seven. That's four twenty a week. Let's do four twenty times four. I can't do the math, but it's like it's like sixteen eighty or some shit. Like that my math might be wrong, but it's it's a thousand dollars a month on gas. Now you got still buy food if you got a family. You got to add all that in there. So you keep talking about this. You keep talking about something. I'm losing money. You losing money too. You making money, but you losing money. You still got to spend money to buy groceries. Like, I just trying to figure out what y'all talking about. That just don't make sense, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's the next y'all talk about? Y'all say, say I'm not an independent contractor. Y'all say I'm not making no money for real. What's y'all say? Y'all say I need a haircut. What y'all want me to do? I say door that's not a real job. But it's how the main ones that be ordered out the app. If it's not a real job, then what then what's the point of having us then? Right? What's the point of having us? Because I mean, last time I checked, the only people that have food deliveries is people, it's pizza places. And and Jimmy John's, they got a delivery. They got but who who really come on man. Y'all need us. Just like we need y'all, y'all need us. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all can't even get off work to go get y'all food. So y'all need us. Like y'all keep like y'all try to downplay me in the comments on saying we don't need y'all. Cause I y'all trying to make fun of me talking about if y'all go on scrape. We don't need y'all. Y'all not essential. Everybody's essential to the economy, bro. Just like somebody working at McDonald's, they're essential. Somebody working at Burger King is essential. Somebody working at Target is essential. You need workers to make that economy go around. You need us. DoorDash need us. So what are y'all talking about? We're not essential. Like y'all don't make sense to me, bro. Everybody's essential.